Yeah, so you mentioned families. And um, a lot of us in this audience, being from uh, a certain area of the world, they, they may relate to this. This is one of the questions that came through. If families have agreed for marriage, but culture dictates, or let's say the, the elder daughter has to get married first, leaving the younger siblings, how, how would one tackle that? Uh, that's wrong. To wait for, look, in an ideal, the elder one and then the next and then the next, we would like it that way. But there's no rule in Islam. It's got nothing to do with your sustenance or what's known as rozi or kismat, you know. In reality, it's the same as a business. I mean, if the first guy didn't do well in his business or hasn't yet gotten a job, does it mean the second one must keep rejecting jobs until the first one gets a job? It's the same thing. It's also sustenance, different type of sustenance. So the, the, the oldies are a little bit uh, too cultural in this, and they end up kicking sustenance that Allah's brought to their door. You have a brilliant proposal for your third daughter, and you reject it kicking what Allah sent to your door simply because one and two don't have it and community will actually talk maybe nowadays they don't talk because they all go through the same thing and even if they do it's just uh, it lasts a few days you have to look into what has come for whomsoever it has come if they are of marriage age and they're keen on that marriage let it be you are sinful if you block it claiming that well wait for the older one no way no Allah who created you did not say that. The Messenger وسلم, did not say that. So if you do that, you pay a price for it later on. May Allah Almighty protect us and our offspring and those who are going through this type of a crisis. Barakallah. Ameen. Ameen.